Hi everyone, I would like to introduce you to our project, Story Connect. Story Connect is a platform designed to bridge and streamline experiences of all parties involved in the writing process. Before we continue, I would like to introduce the rest of my team members as well as their roles on the project. Hi, I'm Rebella. I'm responsible for the book publication and the automatic generated book genres. This includes personalized book recommendations based on the user's preferences of the book they are reading, which is shown in the reading homepage. Hello, I'm David. My job is to provide the reader with a simple and clean UI that allows them to focus on their reading experience and exploring other reading options if they so desire. I was also responsible for ensuring the functions provided while reading a book were as simple and the least intrusive as possible. Hello, my name is Tanner. It was my responsibility to build out much of our project's backend while also using OpenAI technology to implement AI-supported writing tools. I was responsible for implementing the backend for our feedback system, user authentication, and our database interactions. Hey everyone, my name is Dallin. I was in charge of creating the uh, writer's experience throughout the app, as well as architecting our infrastructure. Our platform hosts a wide range of features that are designed to help both readers and writers alike. We produce a small cheeky commercial to help introduce our product, and we hope you enjoy. Have you ever been trying to write a book and find yourself stuck, lost in a maze of your own ideas? Or have you ever scrolled in search of new books to read, only to find yourself lost in a sea of choices? Say hello to Story Connect, your gateway to a world where stories flow free and discoveries are endless. For the writers, Story Connect brings advanced tools like Rodon Blocker and Continuity Checker right to your fingertips, transforming your creative roadblocks into stepping stones. And for the readers, imagine a personalized library filled with exciting works by new authors, Story Connect, where every story finds its voice and every reader finds their next adventure. Begin your story with us today. Thanks for watching our short little video. Now we're going to transition into talking about our tech stack. At its core, Story Connect is powered by a Dockerized Django instance, ensuring a robust, scalable backend. The front end was meticulously crafted using Flutter, offering a seamless experience. For our cloud infrastructure, we are leveraging the power and reliability of AWS. Not only are we using an EC2 instance for our Dockerized Django application, we are also using AWS's Manage Database feature to host our Postgres database. For our user's authentication, we use Firebase. We also use Firebase for our content delivery network, also known as a CDN. We use this for storing profile images for writers, and for the book covers. Further enhancing user experience, Story Connect integrates AI-assisted writing features via the OpenAI API, making storytelling more engaging and more accessible to all. Moreover, we've implemented cutting-edge machine learning capabilities using Pandas and Scikit-learn to develop a sophisticated book recommendation system and content-slash-genre tagging model. This blend of technologies ensure that Story Connect is not just a platform for sharing stories, but a dynamic ecosystem that understands and adapts to users' preferences, revolutionizing the way that amateur fiction is written. I'd like to take this time to talk about our user study practices. Our team decided to engage with users very early, conducting our first round of interviews a mere week after the inception of the idea. We decided to do this out of inspiration from one of our classes here at the university named Human-Centered Computing. Since our goal was to create a platform for both readers and writers, we decided that this was the best route to be able to accomplish that goal. Throughout our interviews, we gained valuable insights about what our users desired most, what features were important, and what features that we had initially planned on that weren't. One of the most impactful things that we learned from our user study was our user's desire for rich text editing capabilities, such as bold, italicizing, and underlining. Though not part of our original design document, our agile development framework that we had set up 
allowed us to pivot within our allotted time frame. And now we're going to watch our apps demo. We're going to first start off by glancing over our login page. Since we've all seen this a million times, we're going to speed right onto the writer's homepage. Here you'll see a collection of books that you've started working on. Let's go ahead and create a book. I've already pre-populated some book information, so let's go ahead and create the book. As soon as we've created a book, we're taken directly to the writing page. Here we can see different aspects that writers will need as they're crafting their stories. We have a simple yet intuitive chapter navigation complete with CRUD capabilities for each chapter. You can see that we have added rich text editing features such as adding bold, underline, and italicizing. Let's jump back over to a book that we've already started working on to demo our AI assistant tools. Here we have the Rodan Blocker, something we're really excited to show off. Simply select a piece of text and let the magic of AI help you get past your writer's block. We're sure this is a feature that our users are going to love. We also quickly mentioned that these API calls are completely private. OpenAI's privacy policy states that they do not store any of the data. You can see the Rodan Blocker has given us three different options of what, how we may uh, handle our particular issue. Next, let's view our continuity checker. This feature utilizes an LLM to track and identify continuity errors throughout a user's story. For example, if a character has blue eyes, but it is then later described as having brown eyes, our system will inform the writer of their potential mistake. The challenge with this feature was efficiently processing thousands of lines of text, each containing different permutations to the overall story. Our solution was to devise a handcrafted data structure called a statement sheet. We use the statement sheet to track information related to all named entities within a story. Then we can accurately identify contradictions across multiple full-length chapters by comparing the differences in various chapters via various natural language processing techniques. Now let's look at the app experience from the reader's side. Here you'll be presented with two different collections of books. A collection of books you are currently reading in your library, if you have any, and a collection of books recommended to you based on what you've been reading. Let's open this book and we'll see the book details page where you can see all the details that the author has published about the book. From there, you can navigate to the author's uh, profile page. From here, we'll move on to the reading a book. Here we have a few simple options available on the toolbar you see before you. You can quickly navigate to the next or previous chapter or bring up the actual chapter navigation panel if you'd like to move to a specific chapter. You will also have the option to add or remove this book from your library. Wrapping up on the reader's view, we allow users to provide feedback directly to writers. Here we can see users are given the option between short form feedback, a simple Likert scale, and can provide more detailed feedback via a text box. The reader may also tie this feedback to specific text within the chapter. Reflecting on the past 38 weeks spent building SolarConnect, our journey in development, particularly in programming, has been substantial. We meticulously complete 204 talks across 24 weeks within the implementation phase, accumulating 807 commits. Our team embraced agile methodology for our software practices, complemented by regular weekday team meetings and insightful weekly sessions with the professors. Additionally, we implemented a well-organized approach to conducting user interviews. This iterative methodology was pivotal in promoting ongoing collaboration and continuous enhancement laying a solid foundation for our development efforts. Looking back, we can undoubtedly say this project has been a gratifying challenge for all of us, enriched by a significant learning curve. Beyond merely applying the knowledge we've gathered all for the last four years, we've ventured into an uncharted technological territories. Before starting this project, most of our team members had not used many of our software stacks, such as Flutter, Jingo, and Firebase. However, after the astounding effort put into this project, we have taken great pride of achievements. We inspire that users find Sir Connect enjoyable and beneficial that our journey will inspire future innovators. Lastly, we would also like to express our sincere appreciation and thank all the people that has helped us in this project. Staffs, professors, users. This project has been a great experience. Feel free to check it out our project at sorryconnect.app.